Welcome back to Lamb School Noticings for the week of November 7, 2016. I'm Mary Fran Matson, professor and head of the Brian Lamb School of Communication, and your host for Lamb School Noticings. presidential election is upon us and the Lamb School is buzzing with excitement. We're partnered with the Department of Political Science, the Honors College, and Pi Sigma Alpha to host an election viewing party. The event takes place election night, November 8th, in the Honors Hall, located in the brand new Purdue Honors College and Residences building. The event begins at 6 p.m. and will conclude at approximately 10 p.m. We hope you can join us for any portion of the evening which will feature a live production of faculty and student panels, interviews with attendees and guests, large displays of the evening's returns in races across the country, and free refreshments. Our goal for this event is to bring the energy and excitement of a presidential election to Purdue's campus and provide a place for the community to come together and watch the results roll in together. We hope to see you there. Every year, students and faculty travel to the National Communication Association Convention to discuss research and share best practices. This year's conference, titled Communications Civic Callings, will be in Philadelphia from November 9th through the 13th. This year, conference organizers reviewed over 4,800 submissions, narrowing it down to 1,200 convention sessions. As always, the Lamb School is featured prominently, with several of our own presenting their research at the conference. Tune in next time for highlights from NCA. Later this month, we will welcome C-SPAN founder and our school's namesake, Brian Lamb, back to campus for a special event. Brian will sit down with Ron Chernow, author of the award-winning biography that inspired the musical Hamilton for a very special interview. This event, which is part of the Purdue Presidential Lecture Series and is sponsored by the Purdue Institute for Civic Communication, is free and open to all. For more information on this and other special events, visit the Purdue University event calendar. Finally this week, we want to take a moment to honor a close friend and colleague at the Lamb School who passed away suddenly. Rosalind B. Obingafari, West Africa Program Manager for the Purdue Peace Project, passed away on October 27th. Rosalind touched hundreds of lives during her time on this earth and inspired everyone who met her with her fearless quest for peace, development, and gender equality. Thank you, Rosalind, and our hearts go out to your family. So people within a community who have a problem should be able to sit together, find solutions, and implement those solutions together in order to arrive at peace. Every, every conflict starts from a community, and then it escalates to a bigger community, and finally it becomes national and possibly international. And so I'm looking forward to seeing that the peace building architecture will change from a top-down approach to a bottom-up approach. And uh, that, that will change and help many more communities to live in peace. I think I'm happy working on the Purdue Peace Project because of the fact that it helps me to go to the most rural communities where I think the need is, instead of working in bigger communities with a lot of luxury. So I, like, I love it. I come from a rural community and I love giving back to the rural community. Well, that wraps up another episode of Lamb School Noticings. Make sure to send your noticings to mmatson at purdue.edu and stay in touch with the Lamb School via social media. Take special care and see you next time.